Yo bitches, this is Tazarth coming at you from MTV. This is MTV Cribs. Let's go inside this motherfucking woodhouse. Yeah, we made this uh we made this tunnel really long for my dick, because that's how I roll, you know. I think uh I think I've definitely have a longer dick in inches than I have killed horde. So uh, yeah, let's uh, continue. I have a bunch of tables. Yeah, that's because I can fucking afford them. Can you? No, you can't, because you uh you probably don't have any professions. Uh, you probably don't have a life either if you're watching my uh my video. It's gonna get kind of kind of you know. Okay. Excuse some of the things I'm about to say. Um. Yeah, this is the uh this is the Jew furnace. You see, I have parties at my house, and it's it's you know. It's just sometimes they get in my face and it's just yeah okay over here is a uh well obviously this is world of warcraft not world of uh make magic things appear on the wall so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pretend that there's a jew calendar up here that has a death tally and uh a schedule for jew uh kind of things don't get me wrong, it's not just a Jew furnace, it's a it's a pretty much everything furnace, but it, it just it's just a it's just a coincidence they're Jews, okay? Alright, let's uh I have a personal chef, yeah. Oh Bobby! Yeah, what's up man? Alright. What are you doing in my house? It's like fucking midnight. Alright. Uh this is my personal chef. He uh he did, he tears off his uh like half his shirt off just so he looks muscular while he does this. But anyway, once they're done in the furnace they uh, they come here for some tenderizing and uh, cooking. As you can see, there's some bones and guts and chicken wings and yeah. This is how KFC actually came to be. Maybe we're just the next step in evolution. So uh, yeah, this is his assistant. He has a uh, he has a piece of bread. He's wielding it like he's uh, he wants to beat the shit out of someone or something. But yeah, it's him. There's uh, there's a bunch of boxes up there. Okay, let's go let's go down to my uh, emo cellar. This is where uh, this is where it all goes down. Down here. You see, back in the day, this this used to be my Michael Vick uh, dog fighting pit down here, but uh, eventually emos just came down here. Uh, the, just the smell, the smell of the place. You can you can smell the blood, the human blood from their wrists just drain. Yeah, we even built in a drain for it. I mean, eventually it was just flooded down here, so we just built this drain right here. It's uh yeah, we filled up the kegs too once the sewers got filled, so we got these kegs here full of blood. And, uh, yeah, every once in a while when I'm drunk, I mean, I just come down here and I get this by accident. Let's just go up here. It's, uh, yeah, here's my cabinet up there. A bunch of, these, these plates are oversized, I know. It's, uh, yeah, you don't want to know. This is a, uh, this is a painting I found in, uh, I found in France. Yeah, it was in the garbage, I didn't understand why. It, it is pretty ugly. I don't know. Whoever did the artwork, good game, Blizzard. But uh, the one on the left, the big, long, penis shaped one, that reminds me of uh, myself. So that's, uh, that would be why I took that painting. Here's some more uh, kegs over here. Those ones aren't filled with blood. There's my candle. You know, This is a uh, nice house, I know. Going up the stairs. These, uh, these stairs are actually where I lost my virginity. Right here. Right on this spot right here. I, uh... Uh, right here, it was, it was just, I was drunk, and I don't know, I was just in the moment. And, yeah, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Stairs, uh, I mean, uh, my room was right up there, but I mean, come on. Come on. Alrighty, let's, uh, up here. A lot of red rugs. You can, you can see the creative creativity with Blizzard. I mean, I don't put the full blame on myself, because Blizzard filled the whole place with, uh, red rugs. And, uh. I'm sure they feel pretty good about that. Alright, this is, uh, this is this homeless guy. Um, I found him on the street one day. He had, uh, no money. He asked for change. I gave him a room, because I'm fucking rich. Yeah. It's, uh, that's pretty appropriate. And, uh, he's been with us ever since. Training mages since the game came out. This would be, uh, this would be my bedroom. This is where the magic happens. These are some, uh, dressed hookers. Um, okay, um, this definitely isn't what I paid you for, um, I don't think it's gonna work out, um, yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Over here would be a, uh, painting 
of uh, three trees. You can see that one's alone. That would be a uh, reference to uh, my dick, because I'm never gonna. I'm not. I'm not gay, so you know, I keep my dicks away from well, my dick away from other dicks. Good game. All right. Those are my boots. Yeah. Here's some books over here. I don't. <laughs> yeah, because we all read nowadays. Rogue trainer. Yeah, you can tell that it's totally a uh, she-male by the way she stands or something's up her crotch. So that's a good game, Blizz. I know what you're thinking of. More books. Here's a painting that uh, may look the same as the one downstairs because Blizzard. You know, they're lazy. <laughs> you think they're going to make a bunch of little paintings, like they're going to hire a guy to draw a bunch of little paintings, you know. Oh yeah, let's let's make a bunch of little paintings, you know, so, uh, so everybody, because that's what everybody looks for in a video game, for paintings. This one, this one over here, that really touches me. This one is, uh, this one is actually, if you've seen the Roadrunner and Coyote cartoons, that's where the Coyote falls. I, uh, there's the last one left. It's, uh cost me five silver. I know you may say that's not a lot, but apparently there's a lot of beggars in Stormwind nowadays, you know, it's like, can you lend me one gold? And no, just, just go quest, dude. You don't need a gold. You're freaking level 12. Alright. Looks like it's time for me to show you my rides. Alright, let's go outside. Don't mind the hookers in the street. I live in a bad neighborhood, and... I was drunk, you know, I'm always drunk, but, I mean, I didn't mean to run them over. It was, just get out of the, you don't stand in the street, okay? Everybody knows you don't stand in the street. These are my mounts. Yeah, there's my, uh, there's my white horse, um, white power, um, that's not mine. This one, this one, yeah, it's, that's not, that's not, I'm not racist, don't judge me like, no, I'm not racist. It's just, you know. Don't tell anyone. These are my pet chickens. I picked them up, and, uh, you know, who needs a dog when you have a chicken? Come here, Pepito. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I guess I don't have pets anymore. Anyways, this is, uh, if you turn, yeah, turn the camera over there, there's, a uh, there's, this is my neighborhood. There's a blacksmith, a bunch of, you know, little places. It's a small place, you know. Alright, well, this is my luxurious house, uh, yeah. So, uh, look me up next time. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll have a bigger house. And, uh, you can also look for my new album in stores, uh, if it isn't lock, then suck my cock. And uh, have a great day. Sarth out. I'll leave my house. <laughs>